Good morning students. Today I am going to teach you unit 4 which is industrial applications of laser. Okay. So the unit 4 it is uh, actually split into two parts. First is measurement. The first half is full of measurements uh, like measurement of distance, velocity, acceleration. So all these parameters and the second uh, part it is fully of material processing like uh, uh, material removal, material uh, cutting using laser. Okay, so for let's for first see the first half which is measurement. Okay, in that the first topic is laser for measurement of distance. Okay, so for this uh, we use Michelson interferometer technique. Okay, it's an interferometric uh, device that is used for measuring the distance. Okay, here the laser is used as a source. Okay, so let's see the construction of it. So this is the uh, construction of the uh, Michelson interferometer. Okay, so here we have a, a source which is the monochromatic light source. The monochromatic means the laser light source. Okay, so this laser light source is made parallel by using this lens L1. Okay, so the parallel beam it is uh, it is moving towards the uh, mirror called beam splitter. So this thing is called me beam split splitter, which is uh, inclined at an angle of uh, forty five degree in such a way that the the beam the, uh, that strikes the uh, beam splitter will be splitted into two. Okay, one one half will move towards the mirror M uh, M two. Okay, this is the plane mirror. So well, the first half of the uh, beam will be moving towards M2 and again it will be reflected because of this mirror it will be reflected back. It is moving towards and it is reflected back and again uh, it will be hitting the backs of the uh, beam splitter and again it will be moving towards the telescope. Okay, so this is the first half of the laser beam. Okay, and the second half of the laser beam, it will move towards M1, which is the plane mirror M1. And again, it will be reflecting and it will pass through the beam splitter and it will reach the telescope. Okay, so one single beam is splitted and it is uh, uh, coming towards telescope as a two beam. So, because of this, we get a interference pattern. Okay, interference pattern means it will get a concentric or alternative uh, bright and dark circles. Okay, so that, that interference pattern will be uh, uh, identified using this telescope. Okay, so this is the actual construction of this. Okay, and one more thing is uh, the mirror M1 and M2 should be uh, perpendicular to each other. So if it is perpendicular to each other, the telescope, okay, the, the light, the two beams fall on the telescope, the interference pa pattern will be in, uh, in the form of circle. We can see the alternative, it's like, like, it will be like this, alternative bright circle and dark circle, again. Okay. Okay, alternative fringes will be seen through this telescope. What well, the condition is if it is perpendicular to each other. Okay, but if any one of the mirror is inclined, inclined means it is tilted to some angle, what will happen? At the uh, telescope, we can see a straight line interference. Okay, so that is the difference between these two. Okay, now how the distance can be measured? So this is the uh, main aim of measuring uh, using measurement using the laser. So how the distance is measured is actually the distance. Uh, so uh, for what the distance is measured? So that material is attached in the uh, young two. Okay. So uh, while the uh, the object is moving, the M2 mirror will also be moving. Okay. As it is moving, what will happen? The interference uh, fringes will be shifting. Okay. So the fringe shift. Okay. This is a, the fringe shift will be based upon the movement of the M2 mirror. So this is how the distance of any object can be measured. Okay, but this interferometer, Michelson interferometer is having some drawback. Okay, what is that? 
uh, since we are using laser and many lenses, what will happen? It will have some reflections from the uh, some the, from the lenses, and uh, all the reflected uh, beams may come back to the laser source itself. So if it is coming back to the laser source, what will happen? Sometimes the uh, the amplitude on and phase of the our monochromatic wave will be uh, modulated. Okay, so because of that, we go for a little modification in this interferometer. Okay, so the drawback phased in the Michelson interferometer is overcome by uh, by uh, using little modification. So that modification is instead of plain mirrors that we use in M1 and M2, some uh, cube corner reflectors are used. Okay, so cube corner reflectors. Uh, the, uh, here I have drawn the cube corner reflectors in 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 place of the plain mirrors. Okay, so what it will do is once the laser beam uh, is emitted. Through because of the, this beam splitter, half of the wave will be moving towards the M1, half will be moving towards M2. Yes. So uh, once it is moving towards the corner reflector, it will take another path. Okay. But the the entire uh, uh, beam will be reflected and it will be uh, taking the opposite path just parallel to the incidence path but it is slightly displaced okay so because of that no uh, deflections or any uh, unwanted reflections will happen okay so here also the beam is splitted and uh, the splitted beam will be going, going toward the corner reflector and again it will come back to the telescope the same concept and half of the beam will be going towards and because of the total reflection everything will be coming back and it is reaching the telescope similar to the previous case okay so but the only difference is here we use cube corner reflector okay the second measurement is measurement of length okay so the only difference it is it can measure precise length okay so it is the only difference uh, between the first topic and the second one the measurement of length here the uh, precise that means very accurate um, length can be measured okay so this is the uh, uh, construction of the uh, interferometer okay so it is very similar to the previous case but here if you notice uh, in the previous case either we use uh, uh, m1 and m2 as plane mirrors or m1 and m2 as uh, cube corner reflectors okay but here in the measurement of length one of the mirror is a uh, uh, normal plane mirror okay and other mirror will be cube corner reflector okay so there is a only difference okay second mirror is a cube corner reflector okay so the working is very similar so the laser beam it is illuminated and it is made parallel and once it is striking the beam splitter half of the beam will be moving towards m1 and half will be moving towards m2 that we already knew it right and uh, we know uh, when it is moving to a plane mirror what will happen it takes the same path it takes the same path it is reflected and it takes the same path and it reaches the target okay and uh, 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 the beam which is moving towards the corner reflected what will happen it takes the parallel but the uh, output will be just displaced Okay, that we already know, and everything will be collected at the photo detector. Okay, so what will happen because of these two different mirrors we used? Alternative, either we get a constructive uh, interference or we get a destructive interference. Just remember, constructive means the photo detector detects some light. Okay, it will be bright. Destructive means the both the uh, uh, reflections will be cancelled each other and you'll get a CO. Okay, that means no light will be detected. So that is the meaning of constructive and destructive. So at the photo detector, either we will receive uh, constructive interference or we will receive destructive interference. Okay, so how a length of, length of the object can be measured? So the, the object whose uh, movement or the length 
uh, is to be measured is placed uh, at this uh, cube corner reflector. Okay, it is very similar to the previous only. So as the object is moving, what will happen? The interference pattern will be changing. Say for example, first it was in uh, constructive state. Okay, so uh, if the object is slightly moving, what will happen? It will move to destructive. And again, if it is moving constructive, destructive. So the constructive and destructive interference will be coming alternatively based upon the movement of the M2 mirror. So because uh, that is uh, the M2 mirror is placed over the object. Okay, so if the object is moving, alternative constructive and destructive pattern will be seen at the photo detector. Okay, so this displacement or the uh, the movement will be corresponding to the uh, it is actually proportional to the uh, half of the wavelength okay so uh, uh, so for example um, uh, if one interference is changing from constructive to destructive that means the object has moved to a distance of half the wavelength okay that is the meaning of it Okay, so this type of measurement, uh, it, it can measure the accuracy is up to 0 0.9 uh, millimeter, micrometer. The meaning is even 0 0.1 micrometer of movement can be measured using this interferometer. Okay, uh, because of this the very good application, it is used in uh, aircraft positioning where accurate uh, uh, aircraft component positioning. So, uh, where accurate positioning of aircraft component is very very required thing. So, the, there it, this technique is used. Okay, so the this technique uh, in this technique we use laser because of these three reasons. We know what is the property of a laser. Uh, it is having large coherence length, and the output intensity will be very very high. Okay, so the second thing, and next is divergence will be low. Divergence means uh, the beam coming out of the laser device is almost parallel. Okay, so because of these three properties only, uh, laser is used in this application. Okay.